How's it going, kindergartners? It's Miss Nanny here. I'm gonna be teaching you guys how to draw a step-by-step -step butterfly. So just like when we learned to draw the giraffes, this is a follow-along drawing lesson or a guided drawing lesson. So you're gonna need a paper and a pencil, or if you wanna use markers like me, you can. Um, we're gonna be drawing a butterfly in the center of our page. The wings will go out because they are symmetrical just like our mandalas or our rangolis that we've made earlier in the year. And then we're gonna act like scientists and we're gonna label our butterfly parts. So we're getting some science and some art together today. It's so exciting. All right, starting in the center of the page, you really wanna make sure you're in the middle. A good way to do this is if you want to fold your paper in half, line up those edges and those corners, fold your paper in half, and then that's how you know that this is the center of your paper. That crease will let you know. And then the fun part about it is later, our butterflies might be able to flap. So I'm gonna grab my marker, and I'm gonna start by drawing the head. If you remember learning from Miss T in science, the insects have three main body parts the head, the thorax, and the abdomen. So we're gonna start by drawing a circle for the head. Then the thorax is a little bit of a longer circle, turning it into an oval. And the abdomen is even longer. So from our head, we need two antenna. Remember, Insects like butterflies and ants use those antennas to feel around and to get to know what's nearby. We need six legs coming out of the thorax. One, two, three on one side. One, two, three on the other side, six in total. A butterfly has something really cool called a proboscis that they use to sip the nectar out of flowers. It unrolls and rolls like, like a party straw. Miss T will teach you more about that. So we're gonna draw that rolled up proboscis between the two antennas. See how it's just like a little curve? Now let's see. Butterflies have cool compound eyes like other insects. So when I draw the eyes, they're circles, I'm actually gonna draw a little waffle pattern inside of them. See how they look like two waffles now, two little Eggo waffles? Okay, are you guys ready for the wings? This part can be a little bit tricky. So the wings also attach to the abdomen just like the legs. So we're gonna start from the abdomen, we're gonna go up to the corner of our paper, and we're gonna go back down. So to help you remember to go all the way up to the corner of your paper, maybe draw a little dot up there, and then it becomes a connect the dot line. So I'm gonna go up, and I'm gonna kinda of curve my line up to that dot. Wow, that's a long, big wing. Because we drew our body so big, we wanna make sure the wings are nice and big too. So butterflies actually have a top and a bottom wing. So this top wing is actually gonna be skinnier than you think it's gonna be. We wanna bring it back down to the thorax. So you can kind of wiggle your line back down to give him some interesting lines. And that's gonna be our top wing. Remember, butterflies are symmetrical. They're the same on each side. So you're gonna to wanna to do the same thing. Go up to that top corner. I'll draw another dot. And starting from that thorax, we're gonna go up, 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 up. And good, and we'll wiggle back down. Wiggle back down gently. Good, so we've got the top wings finished. Now we need to do the bottom wings. Remember, they're still gonna attach to that thorax. So I'm gonna start about halfway over here on this top wing. And I'm gonna draw a line down, and then I'm gonna wiggle it back up. I went down about to the length of the abdomen and I wiggled it back up. 
Same on this side. I'm going to start about halfway. I'm going to come down a little bit and then I'm going to wiggle it back up. Oh, he's looking pretty good, I think. I might switch colors now and add some decorations. Again, butterflies are symmetrical. So any decoration I add on this side, I need to also add on this side. Let's say he has a really cool oval mark on his wing. Then over here, there needs to be another oval mark. Oh, that's my cat. He's trying to help me draw a little bit. Over here, another little circle that's underneath. And I can do the same over here, another little circle. You can even get really fun with it if you wanna do like a heart on the bottom of the wing. You could do another heart on the bottom of the wing. That looks pretty cool, I think. Or if you wanna do like some straight lines across the top, you could do another straight line across the top like that. Add whatever kind of decorations you like. Okay. On the Google Learning Doc, I have your scientific words we're gonna to use to label our butterflies. And I think I'm gonna to switch to black so that my words stand out nice and clear. So whenever I'm labeling something, I wanna draw a line to what I'm labeling. So if I start with the head, I'm drawing a line and then I'm writing head, H-E-A-D. If you need help with spelling, again, all the vocabulary is in the Google Learning Doc, and you can look letter by letter to see how to spell it. H-E-A-D for the head. Next, let's do the thorax. Let's see, I'm gonna make some room over here and write thorax underneath that line that I drew all the way out. Then abdomen is next. Abdomen. Okay, head, thorax, abdomen. Let's see, we talked about the antenna that they use to feel their way around. So draw a short little line and write antenna. We have the proboscis here. Remember, that's like the little party straw that they use to reach down and grab that nectar. Proboscis is a pretty long word. So my line is gonna be very short, and then I'll look at the vocabulary word proboscis and write it down. Wow, some of these words are so hard, but I love that these science lessons are teaching us these new words. Let's see, now I need to draw that. A, a line going to the I, E, Y, E. That one's nice and easy. We should label the wings. Now, there's four parts to those wings, so if you wanted to do more than one line and connect them and then write wing, you could do that. Or just like we did with the antenna, I just drew one line, even though there's two antenna. So that's up to you. Let's see, oh, his legs. Now his legs are kind of down in this body where the wing is, and I don't wanna write in the wings, so I'm gonna draw another line all the way out to write legs. Nice and short, that one too. So we've got the head, the thorax, the abdomen, the wings, the legs, proboscis, antenna, and eye. So we've labeled our butterfly just like a scientist. That means that anybody else who looks at our beautiful artwork will know what they're looking at and they might learn something too. When you're done, you can make your little butterfly wap, flap its wings if you want. It's looking really cute. I hope you guys are enjoying your butterflies too. You can color them if you want. Have fun and see you later.